And my family and I decided to evacuate the Saturday before. I had just gotten my paycheck from my employer, a uh, few hundred bucks to pay for the hotel room and everything that we were going to need. And assuming that we were just going to be there for two or three days at the most, I thought I had enough. And realizing on Tuesday morning after the storm came that it was going to be more than three or four days that we would be there. Luckily, I had the kind of employer who they were willing to pay us, but I mean, we don't have an address for them to send a check. We don't have a bank account for them to do direct deposit. So it puts you in a bind because you don't have any money. You don't have what you need to survive for this, you know, period of time. Immediately after Hurricane Katrina, it became obvious that serving the needs of the community and getting money into people's hands was of primary importance. As a result of that, the banks, in conjunction with the Louisiana Banking Association, got together and decided that each bank would open a branch on either side of the river. The city of New Orleans is divided by the Mississippi River, and so that river really acts as a boundary here in the city, so it was important to have branches on either side. Now not all banks could actually open up branches either due to physical damage or personnel issues and so the decision was made to share branches actually so various banks would occupy uh, any one branch for another bank if they needed to to be able to better serve their customers and the people of the region. The bank that opened the branch was responsible for going out and securing generator power and any other equipment that was necessary. It was really a time uh, that was focused on community and trying to help your neighbor and trying to really do the right thing and the banks pulled together to make sure that we did that. My family evacuated to Houston because we had family there and fortunately for me we also had branches in the Houston area. You know I reached out to see what I could do to go to work and, and help because I knew that you know the volume was going to be pretty heavy. So the bank opened up a temporary site at the George R. Brown Convention Center. Many of the residents were being evacuated there that didn't have anywhere else to go. So we were able to service our customers, also to open up accounts for uh, new customers or some customers that never thought about having an account as well so that they would have the convenience of having funds deposited to their account. I got smart after the first few weeks. Uh, I stayed in Baton Rouge for a short period of time and I moved on to Florida and when I got to Florida one of the very first things I did was find a bank. So I did a little research and I chose a local bank with a really good reputation in Florida. I mean literally I went, I opened my account, I gave the information to the Red Cross, to FEMA, whatever I needed. If they said it would be there on a particular day, it was in my account. I was able to pay my rent when I got my place. I was able to pay my bills. I was able to do everything that I needed to do. And that stress was lifted off of me. And it enabled me to move forward, to get my life settled once again for both myself and my children. I could not imagine life without my bank account. Why? Because First of all, with gas prices being so high, I'm not running all over the city trying to pay my electric bill or my telephone bill or anything. I can go to my computer, I can put in my checking account information, and bam, my bill is paid. I've saved gas, I've saved time. 